All right, here we are outside of the property. It does have a two car garage. It is a one story home. Here is the neighborhood around. So kind of a mix of two story. You see it has the vinyl, but then there's another brick one story. And then some one stories around here as well. So you don't have neighbors uh, to this side of you. They're, uh, they're a little bit farther down. You can see there's a little bit of water access back here, but we'll take you out to the backyard last. Heading on inside. So as you walk up, you do have some of this rock here. This goes from the gutters. Has a little ramp when you first come up heading on in so it does have a um like a laminate when you first come in and then uh these aren't real wood floors so it's more of that like vinyl plank that you have going on we have carpet so definitely some staining on the carpet it does have these vaulted ceilings you have the two doors out to the backyard um looks to be so it's a wood burning fireplace they just have the like fake logs that you can put candles in and then that same stone is outside we got a little bar area right here which it is a wet bar i don't i don't think oh there we go the water is on i didn't know if the utilities would be on um and i do have my coworker danielle with me so if you hey. if you see somebody in the background it's not a ghost <laughs> here is so i would consider this like an office space you do have these built-ins right here has a window out to the front and then the carpet continues into here this would be if you came in through the garage so you have like a mudroom laundry room area and then the same flooring when you first come in. This also has a half bath right here. So you have just a builder grade type laminate countertop. Toilet. And you have your garage right out here. So one step down for getting in the garage, you do have a drop down attic with stairs, your electrical panels back here. You have your hot water heater, which does look to be newer. And then just a few personal items in the garage. Does look like the garage is automatic as well. Behind here, you have some storage. And then looks like just some of the piping for the hot water heater. They do not have the heating and air on. It's pretty chilly in here. This would be a formal dining room. So you do have some of the swirls on the ceiling and then the carpet continues as well. And then heading on into the kitchen. So we have your refrigerator. It does have a double oven, definitely on the older side. You have an island, has a little eat-in kitchen area right there. Your built-in desk area. And we have gas range, microwave, trash receptacle. Not sure if it's, it's kind of broken down here. Um, and as he had mentioned, this is going to be sold as is, no contingencies. Um, so the, you know, the risky part about that is not having that home sale contingency prior to purchasing. Here is the backyard. I'll take you out here last, but definitely has good views. Nice and quiet. You can kind of see the road right over through the trees, but can't hear anything. Um, but when I take you out there, we'll be able to kind of see if it's allowed out there or not. 
but it seems like a quiet neighborhood. It is, it's 3.54 right now, so I'm sure kiddos are gonna start to get off the bus. Here is a hall closet. Got some fun lighthouse light switches. Here is your primary. So again, has some pretty major staining on the carpet. Um, no like funky smells or anything like that. Um, a lot of it is cosmetic. Here's scuttle attic right here, which means that you just you push up push up and over. It doesn't have the um, the stairs like that attic or like the garage one did. But walk-in closet there. Uh, you do have a slider out to the backyard as well. Heading on into the bathroom, we do have some lovely carpet in the bathroom. Here is double sink, mirror. You have your toilet right here. It looks like they had like an accordion door that fell off. Um, but here's your toilet, tile, and shower right here. So shower isn't too bad with the tiling. You do have a, a big jetted tub right there. Uh, and then lots and lots of mirrors. Here is a linen closet right here. So there is a lot of um, a lot of space in here to be able to rework the space, even to incorporate like another primary closet if you wanted to. But same cabinetry as you've seen uh, in the kitchen. And then just your builder grade laminate countertop. Heading on out, we'll go to the other bedrooms. So we have another uh, linen closet right here. All these doors are kind of falling off the tracks as you can see. Some more carpet in the bathroom and double sink. Right through here, you have your toilet and your tub. Heading on out. So then we have two more bedrooms down here. So here is one of the bedrooms. Uh, do want to point out over here, I'm not sure like what what's going on there um, as far as, it's not like wet or anything, but there is discoloration that I just want to point out. Some right there as well. Um, at first sight, like I didn't know if it was any kind of mold or anything like that. I don't believe that it is, but, um, I, I, it's not like dripping down the windows or anything, but just something to be mindful of. Uh, you do have two closets in here. One right there, one right there, and then into the next bedroom right here. So a little bit smaller than the previous one. Closet, looks like you have a main water shut off and right there. So you have three bedrooms, so one there and one there. You have this full bathroom for those two rooms. You have your primary right here. And then this whole living space. So living space with the little bar area, your kitchen, formal dining room, an office, and then washer dryer and garage. So it is nice having that office space so you don't have to use one of the bedrooms and you still have an office. Here is outside. So it does have some um, cement here and then you do have some pavers that have seen better days um, right around here. All of this is reworking all the water um, to be able to run away from the house, which is always nice. So the the bricks, for the most part, look really good. Um, step back a little bit and kind of peek the roof. 
there's the roof right there. You do have a little shed for storage. For some outdoor storage right here. And you got some water access behind you. So good size yard. Pretty private. And then flows into this water right here. So that is everything. Let us know what you think. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.